سورت النصر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اذا جاء نصر اللہ والفتح ورائی تنہا سید خلو نفی دن اللہ افواجا فسمح بحمد ربک واستغفر انہو کانا توابا When the help from Allah comes and victory kisses your feet. Most of the people think that this surah is Madaniya. And it was revealed after the victory had come. Actually in that case it should have been Izja. It is Izaja. Iza refers to the future. It was a prophecy actually. And this is Makki Surah, according to me. All these Surahs we are reading from Surah Al-Mulk up till now, they are all Makki, no Madri Surah. According to my opinion, only the Mu'ab was the ten are the two Madani Surahs that come at the end. Otherwise, all these Surahs are Makki. So it was said there as a prophecy that, Oh Muhammad, the time will come. You are facing hardships, no doubt. You are seeing no way. But a time will come. When that time comes and the help of Allah arrives and victory comes to you, it kisses your feet. And you see people entering the deen of Allah in multitudes. Now what is deen of Allah? The system of life where Allah is supreme. This is deen of Allah. We have in Surah to Yusuf, Deen al-Malik. Ma kana le yaakhuz akhaw fi Deen al-Malik. Hazrat Yusuf could not detain with him his brother bin Yamin. According to the law of the king. Yusuf alayhi salam was not the king. The king was the one who saw that dream. And because Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu salam gave an interpretation of that dream. So, He rose to that position, a very high position. He was a very big officer, so to say, maybe finance minister, maybe food minister, maybe agriculture minister, sort of that thing, but not king. So he was under the rule of the king, Deenil Malik. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to devise, you know, a special thing for him, so that he could detain or retain his brother with him. So when, you know, a king is accepted as monarch, as Firaun, you know, said, Alayhi Salih Mulku Misr, Wa Hadihil Anwaru, Hadihil Anharu Tadiri Min Tahti. Is not the kingdom of Egypt for me? I am the king. And all these irrigation channels are under my control. So this is the deen of king, deenul malik. And deen of Allah, obedience to Allah, Whole life under disobedience to Allah. Now somebody is entering this deen of Allah, it's not necessary that he has iman also. He has accepted the obedience. So he is in the, in the deen of Allah. Do you follow what I'm saying? He has accepted the citizenship of this Islamic state. We don't know whether he has iman or not. Some of you must have recalled that ayah number 14 of Surah Al-Hawjarat, قَالَتِ الْعَرَابُ وَعَمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُلُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ These Bedouins are claiming we have come to believe. Tell them, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you have not at all come to believe. All you may say is, you have surrendered, you have submitted, you have accepted the supremacy of the law of Allah and the deen of Allah. So when that victory will come, And you will see people entering the deen of Allah, accepting the supremacy of the divine rule in multitudes. فَسَبَّهِ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ Then at that time, you should glorify your Lord with His praise and also ask for His forgiveness. الرَّبُّ رَبُّنْ وَإِن تَنَزَّلْ وَالْعَبْدُ عَبْدٌ وَإِن تَرَقَّى A servant or a bondsman is a servant. Howsoever high he might rise. And Allah is the Lord, howsoever low he might come. 
He comes to the first heaven every night. Muhammad went to the seventh heaven on the night of Miraj, ascension. But even there Muhammad was abd. And Allah was Lord. So having reached that position also, never think that you will be very absolutely free from any shortcoming. Shortcoming may abide with there. But we cannot have this on the analogy of our shortcomings. This word of Zamba has also come in Surah Muhammad, Zamba, and Surah Fatah. But you know, our sin and Huzur, the sin of Muhammad, absolutely different. There's the Hadith, Prophet says, إِنَّهُ لَا يُغَانُوا عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ Verily, on my heart also, sometimes I feel there is some curtain has come. وَإِنِّي لَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ سَمْعِينَ مَرَّةً فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ And we apologize to Allah. And I ask for His forgiveness seventy times every day. But what was that sin? A slight diminution in the intensity of relationship. This depends upon the how sensitive you are to these things. So for this you ask the forgiveness. Surely in the Hukanata Waba, he is ever relenting, always ready to accept the repentance from his servants. Now this surah, I think, should be read with Suratul Inshirah. Today we began with that surah. Faiza Faragta Fan Sab. Faiza Faragta is here. When the deen of Allah will become supreme in the Arabian Peninsula, your work will be done. Why we sent you for that purpose? Who will the Arsala Rasullah who will Hudaba deen in Hakkil Yuzgira who will the deen fully? When the deen has become dominant, now your mission is accomplished. Faiza Farakta Fan Sab, Waila Rabbika Farab. Now you meditate to your Lord, devote wholly and solely, you know. To him. The same thing here. Iza ja nasullah wal fat. Varayat al nasa yat khuluna fi dinillahi afwaja. Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wa astaghfirth. Innahu ka'ala tawwaba.